Hi guys, welcome back to EdgeVet channel. Today we will be discussing the course outline of veterinary anatomy in MSVE 2016 curriculum. So what is veterinary anatomy? So we will be studying about the structural organization of animal body. We will be separately studying the osteology, arthrology, angiology and many ologies related to anatomy. So this is our course credit that is 4 plus 3. This is the largest credit in any veterinary science topic 4 plus 3. So whenever you score more marks in course having more credits that can increase your OGPA. So they will be having 8 theory units and 8 practical units. So unit 1 will be general osteology, arthrology, myology etc. General angiology, general spangnology etc. So you will be dealing with the basics of osteology and arthrology and myology. The description of tendon, ligaments, description of joints, what is diarthrodial joint, what is different types of joints. What are bones? What are different types of bone? What are skeleton? What are classification of skeletal system? And in angiology, what how a vessel is formed? How blood vessel is formed? Structure of heart, general plans of heart, formation of nerve. In anesthesiology, you will be dealing with arteries, veins, site of blood collection, palpable lymph nodes, etc. In spangology, you will be dealing with the internal boundaries, pelvic cavities, digestive organs, different topography of the digestive organs, etc. Unit 2 is a forelimb. So, you will be studying all ologies of the forelimb. That you will be studying the forelimb physiology, like mechanism, and forelimb anatomy that includes forelimb osteology, myology, arthrology, angiology, and the radial, medial, and lymph nodes and blocks. So, unit 3 will be head and neck. So, you will be studying all aspects of head and neck. What are all there in the head and neck? We will be studying about the Osteology of the cranial cavity, muscles of face, muscles of head, muscles of neck, the nerve blocks, horn blocks, etc. So, in unit 4, you will be studying about the thorax region and the all aspects of thoracic region, including many clinical aspects. And unit 5, that is the abdomen. You will be studying with the abdomen properties, ruminotomy, abamasotomy, and cystotomy, gallbladders, major veins, and other. All, osteo, all ologies will be related to abdomen you will be studying them. And in hind limb and pelvis, you will be dealing with the osteology, bones, the vessels, the nerves and other vasectomy, urethrectomy, castration, patellar desmotomy in the hind limb and pelvis, etc. Unit 7 is the main portion that is histology. You will be studying the cellular properties, all the histological properties of all body. And in unit 8, you will be studying embryology. How does an organ form? How does the membranes form? And all we will be studying in the embryology. So, unit 7 and 8 together constitutes paper 2, that is histology and embryology. So, practically, you will be having 8 units. So, these are the practical units demonstration of different surface regions, palpable bonds, etc. In forelimb practical, you will be studying the different nerves in the forelimbs, the different muscles in the forelimb, different types of joints in the forelimb, and the injection sites, and all. And then, also. The same, you will be having Vibos triangle examination, radiograph of normal bones, study of nerve blocks in the head. Thorax also will be having recurrent laryngeal nerve paralysis roaring in host is a very important point. Demonstration of the auscultation and percussion points, ultrasonography. So, in abdomen, that is unit 5, you will be having demonstration of sites of laparotomy, paralumbar fossa examination, demonstration of major veins in the abdomen, major arteries in the abdomen. Major lymph nodes in the abdomen, etc. Parabatic nerve block also. In unit 6, you will be having hind limb and pelvis. That is, you will be studying the different demonstration of bones of hind limb and pelvis and demonstration of different caudal epidural anesthesia, vasectomy, urethrectomy, castration, etc. And in unit 7, you will be studying about histological sites. And in unit 8, you will be dealing with the embryology, right? So, you will be having a Placentation, placenta demonstration, congenital abnormalities, anomalies. So, if you guys want more PDF and notes and question papers for anatomy, go to the link in the description. Thank you.